Uh, for me, the, uh, the best. Um, I was only a young lad, 21, um, and the relative success that I had, small amount of success that I had, was all down to Bobby, I feel. Just to see him at the club was, uh, was fantastic. Um, technically, as a fullback, you know, you, you shouldn't be too far in advance of a centre half. Um, but with Bob, he would just knock, I'll be on the halfway line, me knock me one ball, and I'll be an attacking player. And people say, Oh, you're a fantastic attacking fullback. Once he left, I don't think I went over the halfway line. So it's like the drop so far back. But uh, fantastic to play with him, and, uh, you know, it was a real pleasure. And Bo Bobby was a good boy, wasn't he? But, um, you know, he was a, well known to be a really immaculate person. And uh, be like, you know, you, you walk into his wardrobe and everything is pristine. And I, I just used to get his shirts and tie him in knots and uh, tie, sh <coughs> tie his shoelaces together, knock his pennies over on the, on the top. Yeah, we used to drive him mad. And uh, myself and John Mitchell used to sit behind him on the coach and we'd put little bits of paper on top of his head. So we'd be pulling into the grounds and everyone would be waving at Bobby Moore, but he'd have a pile of paper on his head. Childish, I know, but we had a laugh. Well, it's great. We've got uh, John Mitchell and John Lacey here today. Um, Kevin Locke, who played for West Ham in the final, uh, a few West Ham players, and delighted to see his daughter Roberta is here today. We are, I haven't seen her for 25 years, so it's fantastic that she's here. And uh, it's, we're all reminiscing about him, and sadly, you know, he was 53 when he died, too young really, but uh, you know, we've all been touched by him, and it's all a, a great honour and a pleasure to know him.